Nate and Lorraine here. We're just rolling. She doesn't um, believe in brakes. No, I don't. <laughs> I, well, I do sometimes. All right, here we go. Okay, this morning, okay, last night, I was in the post office, and there was this People magazine just laying there on the counter, so I'm like, hmm. So I just keepers. took it home. Finders yeah, keepers. I took it home. Whoa. This morning, I opened it. Well, nobody was playing. I Please report they to get out. <laughs> closed. <laughs> um, and the only thing that interested me in there was there's this article about Bruce Scrooge. Springsteen. <laughs> My lips are getting frozen. Bruce Springsteen and how he has suffered from depression his whole life. And he said music was like self-medication. Mm. And it brought up a couple things. So he says he went into analysis for 30 years and he's still there. That's one of the reasons why I'm so glad I'm not a counselor anymore. I spent years being a counselor like tell me about that tell me about that Blech! it's like now as a it's a life empowerment coach it's just like okay let's go there okay now what do you want to do with it and we move on and we make really fast progress so that's why although i have a lot of respect for people in that profession counselors psychiatrists psychologists and i do refer out when it's beyond my scope of practice so i'm not putting that down just for me i'm just so glad that i been liberated into coaching because 30 years in analysis redirected to a new practice that's more of what you're good at yeah yeah because I mean probably because I'm so effective is because I have the counseling background on all those years yeah but that's not my point my point is the gift of depression is the best way I can say it you know because if you've been following me at all you know that I have come to an understanding about depression I've learned to make it my friend and you know if you are one of those people who have some depression I think what makes it worse is that we have the outside people looking in on us from the outside <laughs> in and going "Ooh, that's a bad thing Ooh, there's something wrong with you because you're not always giddy and happy or whatever <laughs> and so it's like you know depressed people are some of the most gifted people I've ever met. I think they're the artists, the musicians. And the thing is, we have so many talents, we don't know what to do with them. We don't know which one to, and sometimes that can be depressing, but it's all the outside world looking in on us. Is that right? Yeah, yeah us looking at that and going, okay, well that must be valid. So I'm gonna compare myself to that. And aside from not feeling good, that's, you know, but I wonder sometimes if the not feeling good when we're quote unquote depressed is because we're comparing ourselves to what we think is the model and what it's supposed to be. So I've just learned how to kick ass on, on that feeling, that quote unquote, I'm gonna put it in quotes, depression, manic depression, blah, 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 blah. I just go, just love yourself. However you come, just love yourself. Appreciate who you are and let that be okay. And just roll with it and be authentic. Take your down days when you need. Don't make a big deal out of it. Don't talk about it. Get someone like me, what? <laughs> who's a coach, can help you or a counselor if you need. If you need medication, go for it. No, <laughs> if you need it, but. Ouch. I'm not saying don't take medication, but I have seen a lot of difference in people sleeping, eating, and physical exercise can change them around in as little as oh, two weeks to a one. month. that's a good one. Yes, 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 so Nate. So try that first yeah. and do it for real. Don't say that you do it. Don't do it half haphazardly. Do it. And if that doesn't help your depression, then you know maybe medication. But I really encourage people to get eating right. That exercising right adequate sleep and the other thing is I get depressed and one of the reasons I get depressed is that I have a hard time identifying with other people because mm. people are so living for the outside they're living for acquisition of, of uh, money of things and, and all this stuff and it's just like I like living my life and just talking to people and, and loving people and being kind to people and serving people and just being happy and, and being a positive person
person in the world, you know? And it's really hard to find people that appreciate that because there's so many people that are unhappy because they are pursuing the things that just don't matter that much, you know? They That's really like, don't matter that much. Like, what is it? What does a dog want? A dog wants to be pet. A dog wants to be played with. A dog wants to be fed. I just chucked you. All right, a dog wants to cuddle up with you on the bed. All right, that's what kids want. Kids want attention. They need a mom. They need a dad. They need love. They need adoration. They need to be told, hey, you know what? You're doing right. Hey, you're doing wrong, but this is how you can fix it. They need attention. They don't need you to be on your phone. They don't need that new car. They don't need all these fancy clothes. They don't need this huge house. They just need love and time, you know? Let's show this cute little frozen pond. Yeah, isn't that cute, a little frozen pond? There are ducks on it. A couple really months ago, there's a yeah. muskrat swimming around in it. Yeah. Now he's swim still swimming around in it, probably, but underneath the ice. And that's why if you can find one or two friends, like Nate and I found each other, because we're on so much on the same page, we just get, I get him. I think he gets me. Most and... of the time. <laughs> After midnight, though, I just, I close the door and lock it. <laughs> anyway, um... Turn off my phone. Well, I turn off my phone too. <laughs> um, okay, this is slick. Not that bad. Uh, Ooh, it is bad. Yeah, so if you just have one or two friends that get you, that's more than most people have, okay? Instead of watering yourself down and having so many friends you have to fit in with. Oh. Like, who do you feel really good around? Those are the ones I want you to be with. Not the other ones who might put you down or question you like no it's better to be alone than with bad company yeah 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 just real quick i'm just throwing in there there's nothing wrong with alcohol there's nothing wrong with drinking and going out to a bar but in my life i've seen so many people that spend their whole life hanging out with a crowd the right crowd the right bar you know to wake up the next day like just as lonely and depressed as they were before they started it and with less money in their pocket okay you know who you are. I've been there and I used to lots of times I've been there fun. in the military. Ugh. And I just got tired of it. I just said my, my life has more meaning to, to it than this. I can go out and enjoy a beer or two, go play some pool, hang out, but it's not a lifestyle for me. And I encourage anybody that's out there doing that to just take a good look at yourself and say, is this what I want for my life? Inside out. Or do I want to live and follow my dreams? And, and not only touch my own heart and my own feed my own soul, but maybe in doing so and, and enabling myself, empowering myself to go out and touch other people's souls in a healthy way without the 10 shots of tequila. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's great. You know, a um, little aside here, kind of a... The way I met Nate <laughs> was uh, there was this great band playing called Hambone Wilson. And I heard their music and I could not sit still. And I was so glad that this girl got up and asked me to dance because... Where were you when you saw her? Uh, where was I? KC No Place? You were at a bar. What? I was at a bar, bar. yeah. There you go. I was at a bar. And I danced all night long. I could not sit down. I was dancing by myself. Dancing by myself. <laughs> <laughs> and people were like, where do you get all your energy? I'm like, I don't know. I was just so inspired, but what was the thing that for? Okay, so I'm driving home. I danced for like three hours straight. I didn't even sit down. No, I sat down one or two times. No alcohol, because if I'd had like even a sip of beer, I would have been on my rear end. So I'm almost home and I can feel this cop behind me. And I'm like, ugh. So I just, <laughs> I just finally just pulled over like, uh, I'm over this. <laughs> He said, because I did a California stop on a stop sign. And those of you from California, you know what I mean. And so, you know, we met each other. So we decided just to be friends. And so what was I saying all that for? I guess how you can meet people could be like the strangest ways. And you can have fun at a bar without drinking. Without drinking. Yeah. Or getting drunk. I mean, you can still have a couple of drinks. We don't have to get blasted. And the band fell in love with me because I was like the biggest groupie there. <laughs> yeah. 
the, the harmonica player was going. And were there any guys interested in you that night? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she should have drank. A little I'm disappointing, but totally you know, joking. honestly, the bar crowd is not my, I, I don't want to be with someone who drinks. If yes. One or two drinks here is okay. But not every night, and maybe like I maybe have a drink twice a month if I'm if at that. But remember this: I had an uncle who's not an alcoholic, and his wife is definitely not an alcoholic. But they met at a bar because they both just happened to go out that night. So bars aren't the worst place to meet someone. You just have to keep in mind that you don't necessarily want to meet that person that's been living at the bar, and now that you come into their life, they're going to quit. Quit their lifestyle because you're in their life because that's not going to happen usually they're just going to continue right. their lifestyle so uh -huh. but anyways okay so it's Nate, cold. We're yeah, it is. Nate Nelson blurbsurfer.com okay see that beautiful North Dakota sunset it's Woo! hard to tell what's more beautiful the rain or the sunset oh you're so it's sweet just like, what? you are just so sweet it's like two sunsets that's why I keep him once. around <laughs> <laughs> no keep him around for other reasons he walks this incredible dog named Chuck. You get to see him once in a while or together. <laughs> what did Chuck look like today? Not today. Okay. Chuck's like a, uh, what do they call it? A scrapyard dog? American Bulldog, actually. He's like, arrrr, with other dogs. Okay. So we're going to sign off. Nate Nelson, blurbsurfer.com. What was your topic on this one? Uh, I can't remember. It wasn't inside out, it was uh Oh, depression. Depression. Yeah, that Bruce oh. analysis for 30 years. Music was self-medicating. Real quick though, YouTube's an amazing place to watch funny videos, and I find that really entertaining and bring bring me out of my depression real quick. <laughs> Just watch some people trying to drive in Europe. <laughs> 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 on or, the wrong side or of the road. Or someone trying to park. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but go on. Sorry. No, that's it. Just find out more about his company, blurbsurfer.com, if you want to promote your business. Or, like he says, do a vlog. He will give you a consultation on how to do your videos. He's a communications major from San Diego. If you want empowerment for life and confidence, reach out to me, LorrainePurcell.com. Or get my free ebook at three keys to self love.com. Free. Free. And there's a, also a link there to get a free consultation with me. And you go to my website, L O R R A I N E, P as in Paul, U R S S and Sam, E L L.com. And Nate and Lorraine, thanks for listening. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. We really are sending you love. And one last thing. Yes. If you have anything you're interested in us talking about or discussing. Oh, yeah. We're sharing your story with, we'll, you know, share your story with us, and then we'll talk about it. We won't use your name. We'll keep it private for your, for your, whatever you call it. But uh, we're interested in knowing what you have on yeah. your mind, and we yeah. want to talk about and it. And we'll chew it up on Walk Your Talk. And we'll spit it out. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, sending love. Bye.